Good evening, Philippines. We are back again to our latest weather analysis for this week of uh, Monday to Wednesday, January 30 to February 1st, 2023. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Well, it looks like the uh, uh, weeks of uh, rainfall across the Philippine Islands, particularly over the Bicol region, Visayas, Mindanao, is likely to come to an end. And it is expected by Wednesday, February 1st, good weather will be expected in these uh, rain-soaked areas. Okay, so it's a blessing that we are going to experience some sunshine once again for this week, beginning Wednesday onwards. Okay, the uh, northeast monsoon and the shear line will eventually uh, dissipate in the coming days and move away from the eastern coastline of the Philippine Islands. And the usual easterlies will return, bringing some sunshine all throughout the eastern sections of the country. And we will be having another monsoon break, uh, maybe for about a week. And we will let you know if a return of this uh, winter monsoon or amihan will again affect our country. But so far, brighter days ahead. So let's enjoy the sunshine as we move into the first day of February but as of this time it's still raining in various sections of eastern Philippines so here's the latest GovSat so here's the latest GovSat for today Monday until tomorrow Tuesday you see that long white line that's the cloudiness uh, generated by the uh, frontal system known as the shear line so tail end of a frontal system uh, decades ago it's called by Pagasa as the tail end of a cold front so uh, it's uh, still bringing some rainfall in the eastern along the eastern sections of uh, Visayas Bigel region but for the past few hours the uh, rainfall has begun to diminish as observed on the latest satellite uh, animation that we are going to show to you in a while so the northeast monsoon is still there but starting to weaken until tomorrow and the winds of up to 60 kph will be expected across Cagayan Valley, Cordillera administrative region, Calabarzon, um, as well as uh, Bicol region, Western Visaya, Sulu Archipelago, and Mimaropa, including Metro Manila will have some visa conditions brought about by the northeast monsoon and also across the uh, Panatag Shoal. Kalayan Island Group and various areas of the Spratly Islands. So the whole of the West Philippine Sea and the South China Sea will have some uh, choppy waves and dangerous to small sea crafts as well as those along the eastern seaboards of Luzon and Visayas and also across Mindanao where the extension or the edge of the shear line is also being felt across northern Mindanao, Davao and Kaga regions. But for the next two days, dramatic improvement of the weather will be expected. So we are going to welcome the the sun, the uh, lots of sunshine that we are praying for the past uh, days already. Okay, so here's the high pressure that is uh, generating this uh, northeasterly moonstone flow near Cotayal Tlaf, to the south of Palau. And so far, that's the only weather system, I mean the two weather systems uh, that are affecting the Philippine Islands as of this time. And if you take a look at the fast animation, so there you go, the shear line, and here's the uh, cloudiness of that uh, shear line starting to diminish for the past few hours. And if we check on the latest uh, Zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. You can clearly see here the diminishing uh, rain bands brought, brought to you by the uh, shoreline. But there are still some localized thunderstorms over the Sambonga Peninsula and the offshore areas of Bangsamoro, as well as the southern tip of Palawan. And if you take a look at the wind forecast for the next uh, three to five days, so by... Uh, Tomorrow afternoon, we expect that the northeast monsoon will start to weaken, improving weather conditions across the Bicol region and portions of the Visayas. And on Wednesday afternoon, 
the northeast monsoon will eventually decay and it will transform into easterly wind flow or easterly surface wind flow so we are now moving into another break of the northeast monsoon thursday afternoon it's uh, uh completely gone okay but there are still some light winds um, from the east and on friday uh, slight uh, easterly to northeasterly wind flow will be expected along the eastern and central sections of the Visayas as well as eastern Luzon, including Batanes, Kubo Islands. And on Saturday, the uh, same uh, gentle winds will be expected across the Philippine Islands from the east and northeast. Those are known as trade winds. Okay, and here's the rain forecast for the next uh, three to four days. And we are going to give you until Friday. So right now, we still have some cloudiness over, over the Gaspi, Albay, or Sugon. But tomorrow morning, there might be some uh, sunshine already because of the diminishing cloudiness of the northeast monsoon and the shear line. And Wednesday, uh, or Thursday, and on Tuesday afternoon or evening, we uh, expect some uh, decreasing cloudiness. But there's still some showers expected over the eastern seaboards of Visayas, eastern Samar, and eastern Leyte. And on the first day of uh, um, February 2023, we expect good weather across the Philippine Islands, particularly over Bicol region and Visayas. There is still some thunderstorms that ex that are that will be expected in the afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday afternoon. Uh, probably a new shear line will affect uh, Visayas, particularly the eastern uh, uh, sections that includes Leyte and Samar uh, provinces. While over uh, along the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol region, good weather will be expected. And on Friday, uh, same uh, weather situation all across the eastern sections. There will be some uh, winds from the northeast that will uh, be focusing on Calanduanes and Albay, including Sosogon, for uh, <coughs> this uh, um, little rain that is expected to occur. That will be on Friday. While the rest of the Bicol region, including Naga and Iriga, will have some pleasant weather. And Saturday, um, January or February 4, 4th of February, um, just uh, cloudy conditions from the northeast and possible shear line will again occur across the Visayas. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for this Monday to Wednesday. So expect improving weather particularly on the first day of February where we we could see lots of sunshine across the Bicol region okay so again this is Mike see you again in the next couple of days and thank you so much for watching our channel